it's deep and it's dark and it's spooky. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Underwater, and I actually really like this movie. I have a guilty pleasure for stories that take place in the water, especially of the depths of the Marianas Trench. I've read at least four novels with almost the exact same setting, just different sort of premises. This is just something that is a combination of my two biggest fears. One of unknown water and two of dark unknown creatures that are in the water. The film pretty much doesn't waste any time with starting with having the drilling operation just completely start to collapse. And then we get to start to learn about these characters, one being Kirsten Stewart and along with the other survivors she comes across. Thing that right off the bat that I started to enjoy is that these characters are written well in terms that they're not stupid. There were several points in the movie where I thought, okay, this is the point where they're going to do something stupid because that's just the status quo of these kind of movies, right? But no, I would say there's maybe one maybe kind of bad decision in this whole film, but they are smart characters and it helps to build the horror because the horror is really well done. I'm kind of curious at how they made this movie considering a lot of the shots are them in the water with the suits on. And it looks like kind of a mix of gravity's technology in terms of how they put them in the suits and just how they're shooting it. Sometimes you don't know whether the suits are real or whether they're CG. But what the film does exceptionally well is putting you into this fear of claustrophobia, this fear of unknown darkness and terror. There's a lot of shots where they're really up close, high aperture, very claustrophobic, really close in with the characters both in the suits and out of the suits every time they're in the water they really do establish just the blankness of it the complete unknown the inability to see a butt in front of them there are some shots in the film where they show this facility just like completely lit up and that's impossible light can't travel that far in the depths that deep. They do take some liberties admittedly with how the technology works. There's some sort of tubey thing for air, but at that depth it wouldn't work. If you ever wanted to see a film that talks about that kind of aspect, watch The Abyss. They actually had a means of technology that would work for that sort of situation. Which by the way, this movie borrows a lot of things from it, but doesn't completely rely off of it, which I appreciate. Obviously the guys were a fan of this film, they take a little few aspects from it and then they turn it into their own film in this one. If I had any big complaints about the movie, it would be that it's too short. There's a lot of things that you see that they're trying to build because they're not only building these characters and building this terror, they're taking what little time they have to show the areas that they're in, the character of the ship, of the whole facility. And I would have actually appreciated more time with that because the movie goes at a pretty good pace. It never lets you stop for a second. Most of the times that's done very poorly. It's done too quickly. The editing's too choppy. The pacing and the editing in this film are very well done. The fact that the guys who made this movie have never made anything exceptional, both the director and the writers. Apparently this film was finished back in 2017, but because of the Fox and Disney merger, it took up until now for it to be released. But in the end, I think that Underwater is a movie that I would very much like to see in theaters again. I had good genuine tension. I felt that the mythos of the film had some cool ideas. While it kind of goes a little weird at the end, I still feel that this is a really fun time throughout the whole film. It's well shot, it's well put together, it's just generally a really good horror movie. I'm gonna give Underwater a 5 out of 7. I really, really thought this was a good time. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.